Alright, Tom. I thought about you recently, watching the D-Day festivities. And I was thinking, Tom is somewhere with a clicker there trying to watch all the war footage. <laughs> that was some great stuff. Did you watch any of it? Uh, I watched as much as I could uh, on my free time. Where was I on the 6th? Uh, I was in the, I was in the midst of doing something. I, I forgot, but uh, I watched some of it. Mm, all right. Well you, you, well, you were there in my thoughts, and I absented because I figured all the good black and white war footage was right up your alley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what a bonanza. <laughs> well, did you go around playing Forrest Gump with the wife? <laughs> oh, nah, she, she wouldn't let me do that. Uh, try to keep keep all that outside the house, you know. But yeah, that's, that's, that's about it, though. <laughs> all right, Tom, it was, it was great seeing you today, man. All right, thank you. Somebody, Mama. Hi, Forrest. Why are you crying, Mama? I'm dying, Forrest. It's my time. It's just my time. Come on now. Don't be afraid, Forrest. Don't be afraid, sweetheart. Death is just... It's just a part of life. Something where... How do you say it? We're all destined... To do. I didn't know... But I was destined to be your mother. I did the best I could. Well, it's my destiny, Mama. You're going to have to figure that out yourself, Forrest. Life's a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get. Mama always had a way of explaining things for me to understand it. She had got the cancer and died on a Tuesday. Bought her a new hat with little flowers on it. That's all I have to say about that. Didn't you say you were waiting for the number seven bus? There'll be another one coming on shortly. Now because I've been a football star, a war hero, and a national celebrity, the college graduates of Greenville, Alabama got together and offered me a fine job cutting grass.